Hello, this is the third episode of iPod Touch slash iPod uh, iPhone reviews, application reviews. And in the previous episode, I reviewed Paper Toss by Backflip Studios. And now in this one, I'm going to review a game called Ragdoll Blaster. This game is not free, and it was worth the $1.99 that I paid for it. It's a fun game. It's really addicting. I beat it pretty quickly because I'm good at these kind of things, I guess. But um, when I first got it, I only had 80 levels, then it upgraded to 104. So that was really cool. Like two days afterwards, they, up they upgraded it. And level 1 obviously would be easiest. And the whole point is see, the best score is 1, 1, 1, 4. Is to get hit the target with the least amount of ragdolls you use. Okay, look. You hit aim and everything, and you hit the red target, which would be right there. Use it using like a ragdoll, right? You shoot it out of the cannon. You know, bam. I got one, because I had to restart every time. You know, it's really, really simple and easy. The, the levels get pretty hard and more complicated as you go on. It's really addicting, and I'm, and I'm not kidding. It's like, well, after you play it once, you like warm up. I speak my high score for that one. Um, once you play it once, you're going to want to keep playing and playing and playing until you beat all levels. But sometimes you do get a little frustrated with some of the levels on here. And you take a break for a little bit, like some of the harder levels, like further on down. Um, like, I beat all of them, except for two levels on here, and I cannot beat this friggin', I'm, I spent so much time trying to beat the lot, like level 98 and level 100, I cannot beat them. But, um, hey, after this review, after this review and you buy it, and you figure out how to beat level 98 and level 100, let me know how you beat it, because <laughs> I'd really like to know. And that's my review on Ragdoll Blaster. Cost dollar ninety nine, made by Backflip Studios. They also make Paper Toss. And Ragdoll Blaster. Um, out of ten, I give it a seven. And uh, I give it a seven because the fun, the the fun level of it, the complicity, the time you put into playing it, and everything. I beat it relatively fast, and I bet you a lot of people did too. But um, I think. The age group for it should range from like maybe 10 to 13, because the intellect level might be lower, you know, because I'm a pretty smart guy and I'm pretty good at physics, but um, because that's supposed to be like a physics based game, but I don't know, but I don't know, it's like somebody not very good at games would have more fun with it maybe than I did, I loved it though, but um, I give it a 7, alright, thank you, and my next review is going to be on Line Rider.